This little video is going to help you find your altitude or elevation. They're used interchangeably. For your location where you do canning. And it's, I googled elevation finder and it's free map tools. So now I'm going to click on that. You see my mouse cursor. And this is what you get. Let me come back over. Okay. Now, I'm in the United States, so I put my cursor there, and I bring it to just about the center of the window because it's easier when enlarging it. And then I come up here to the plus, and I start zooming in. Yes, I know you can use your mouse roller to zoom in, but quite often what it does is also put you in a different part of the map. So, now I'm going to drag. Let me find a place to do. Enlarge. Bear with me. I know it's going to take a few minutes. I want to find a neighborhood. There should be neighborhoods everywhere. Ah, there's a neighborhood under my cursor. So let me, not having been to Pueblo. Let's say that I live out here on the fringes of this neighborhood. Let's say I live on North Briars Drive. And I keep zooming in. Let's say my house is right at the end of this little dirt road. Now I click on it. You see the elevation? 5,400.3 feet. That's exact. Let's say some of these will have, okay, Sioux Lane, zoom in on it. Let's say, oh, I live right there, 5,029.5 feet. I hope you're getting it. Let me pick someplace else again. Oops. All I'm doing is rolling back. Let's say, oh, I'll pick a place that I used to live many moons ago. There's Florissant. I used to live right in this housing area here. So I'm going to zoom in on it. And let's see, that house. 9,101 feet. Now you see how this works, right? That's how easy it is. An alternative is that you go to G Maps on your smartphone. And you, on your smartphone, you would touch and hold your house, your street, your location. Touch and hold it, and it gives you your exact coordinates. If you do that, then you copy those coordinates, 
and you go into free maps again and you come down here to find a location I hope this is showing up and latitude and longitude and then you just paste in your latitude and longitude your grid coordinates and it says find and it goes right there and it tells you your exact elevation I hope this helps so I'm going to zoom in again and I'm going to drag the United States over. I know there are people all over the world, but you see this is a worldwide map. I'm just picking this because I can. So let's say you live right there. You know, you'll know where you live, and hopefully. You can find it, Google it. And that is only 2467.2. So see, this works everywhere. For those of you who need to know, because we've been canning for years, and based on the elevation that we received, you know, from the NOAA, the weather maps, and it was off for our precise location. We were a couple of hundred feet lower, which put us into a different um, timing for water bath canning and a different pressure for pressure canning. So I hope this has helped. If it has and you liked it, please hit whatever the buttons are that people do like, I guess. And if you really loved it, feel free to hit subscribe. There's going to be a lot more videos that I want to do to help crazy little bits of information that people need.